On this episode of Wisconsin Beer Spotlight, we're taking a look at the Guava Juice IPA. Whoa, sweet can, dude! <laughs> When do we get to taste it? <laughs> <laughs> Hi everybody, welcome to the channel. My name is Jared, aka the Sleeveless Cheesehead, and this is my buddy Tyler from the Wisconsin Trilogy Podcast. We have 25 viewers, so please help us out. <laughs> we talk all Wisconsin sports, but that's not what we're here for today. Today, we're here to check out this bad boy right here. So now, this is from Stillmark Brewing Company in Green Bay, Wisconsin. Ooh. I'm from that area, but I've never been there, so I don't know. I'd say that is brewed with 440 pounds of fresh juice puree. That's pretty good. Fresh what? Fresh, oh, fresh guaro. That's gu guava, not guaro. <laughs> Dang it! I'm still in Costa Rica, okay? So it's guava juice IPA. I don't know what guava is supposed to taste like, but I imagine it tastes something like this. I think it's it tastes like fresh pineapples. Pineapples? Yeah. Pineapples. It's like freshly squeezed. S squeezed. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna check out what the can says. This fresh, non-bittered session IPA is brewed with the cutting edge. What Beer. Is that word? Equinot. Equ Equinot. Cryo hop. Whatever the hell that's supposed to mean. It sounds like it's brewed by aliens. <laughs> kind of. It does. As late kettle aroma. In parentheses. I'm not sure why that's in parentheses. Additions and 440 pounds of fresh guava fruit fruit puree. Dude, how are you lifting that? That's impressive. 440 <laughs> per can. Per can. What? 440 pound curls. Yeah. Don't act like you're not impressed. <laughs> yeah. As the beer cools from its gentle fermentation, we dry hop it with an additional 44 pound dose of Zinthos hops. Known for their pineapple aromas. You've read the can before. That's why you said pineapple. Mm -hmm. And I like freshly squeezed things. Take that however you like. <laughs> this unfiltered session IPA oh. is built. What? what? Keep going. <laughs> is built for a refreshing <laughs> tropical escape during a warm Wisconsin winter. Drink up, Green Bay. <laughs> I can read. I can... <laughs> okay, so guava juice IPA. No idea what to expect. We're gonna try it. Oh, it smells like pineapple. I think you're a liar. Actually, never mind. <laughs> Fill me up, Chandler. Quit holding your cup so weird. See, that's like perfect. We got about the same. So as always, the first thing we're gonna take a look at is this smell. Tyler, please, if you would. I'll waft it. Yep, you got, gotta waft it. I, I get pineapple. That's all I got, I got a shitload yeah, of pineapple. Pine <laughs> pineapple, what? You don't say. All right, hold on, let me, let the. You get a little bit of a pine scent, but I think that's from the IPA, the fact that it's an IPA. That's the non-wafting effect. <laughs> 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 I just got a big old nose full of head. It's actually like really sweet smelling. Like sweet? Yeah, like kind of like you get like, like a... I think I'm drunk already. <laughs> <laughs> I know it just has like this sweet kind of scent to it. I don't know about you. That's what I smell. I'm still on pineapple. <laughs> Alright. Fair enough. Alright. Now, second thing, the color. It's it's beer. Like, look. It's just a normal beer color. What you would just what you would expect from any IPA. There's nothing really different, but then again I don't think I was really expecting anything different. What do you see? It's unfiltered and there's there's no chunks in it. So that's that, worth yeah, that is that there's is there's no sediment. Noting. That's though. true. There is no sediment. Good observation. Yeah. I'm still hung up on that like sweet scent. Now for our favorite part, the taste test. All right. <laughs> well, it's definitely an IPA. I got really. I got like no bitterness. In there's it. like no oh. bitterness. Really. But I also, I mean, I, mean, I, mean, I drink a lot. You are, of IPA, you are an IPA so. kind of guy, so you, you're looking this more is, looking for that, I guess. But this is a, a really mellow IPA. It's very mellow. It's very good. It's smooth. It's like, I could drink this as a light beer. Like, it is not what you would expect from an IPA at all. It is, smooth is, is the right term. It is, wow. All right, Oscar, what do you think? What do you think? You like beer? No? 
He's a little camera He's cuter. Shy. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think he likes it. He's just kind of like... All right, you can go down now. You don't like it up here, do you? You can go back to Mama. It's like I'm drinking this beer out of an actual pineapple. Without you, the leaves on top. Without the leaves. Just like, slice that bitch up. It is like... Drink it's... It's sweet and like smooth. It's it's not like an IPA at, at all. So drinkability wise, going off that, what do you think? Oh, it's off the charts for sure. Off the charts, like a off the charts. You heard it here, folks. Fifteen million out of ten. Fifteen million out of ten. Okay. I mean, the fact that it's an IPA. Usually IPAs, you can only have about maybe you know four or five, and you start to get full, and it's just kind of you know they're they're a little on the heavy side, but not really. But true, this true. like. I get a four or five of these and three pizzas, at least. For sure. Not the Jack's pizzas either. Like a <laughs> stuffed crust. <laughs> Pizza! <laughs> and now it's time for the ratings. So. Oh. Yes. We get to rate it. We get to rate this, Tyler. That's part of the mm. show. Yes. Okay. As he's like. <laughs> First thing, scent. What do you think? Ooh, scent. 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 Well, good measure. It's still a 10. It's still, still a 10? It's still a 10. You heard it here, folks. Tyler's going to rate it a 10 out of 10 on the smell. It doesn't smell anything like a, a traditional IPA. So if that's what you're looking for, so if you're looking for an actual IPA, uh, this I don't think this would really be for you. But if you want to get start getting into IPAs, I think this would be a great place to start because it's really mellow. So for that reason, I'm going to give the smell an 8 out of 10. You just said all these good things and then just kicked it in the nads. What's wrong with you? <laughs> oh my god. What anyway. Do what are we rating next? That would be the color. Ooh, the what color. What do you think about the color? Um, well, kind of looks like my pee this morning, but the taste is way different, let me tell you. <laughs> uh, well, it's not too light and it's not very dark. Um, but the fact that there's no sediment in it, that's what I'm like kind of curious about so is it actually unfiltered like or was this just like the top of the batch that didn't have as much sediment in it i don't know maybe maybe we should get a keg and find out all right so color rating what do you think color color doesn't mean a whole lot to me but i give it a it's appealing so what's your score overall overall on the color oh, on the color oh, no nope, the, the color score the color score just the color. i give color a nine out of ten just because i gotta find a way to knock it somehow you know all right that's fair for me just the fact that you mentioned the no sediment part. Like, it just... I think the sediment kind of turns people off sometimes. True, true. So, the fact that it's unfiltered, so you get that more flavor, and that... That there's still no sediment there. So. And there's no <laughs> sediment. I think that's a little bit more desirable. So, I'm going to go ahead and give the color an 8 out of 10 as well. Dude, you got to work on your ratings. No! <laughs> Tyler, you can't just give everything the best score, because then it's not... Then... I give you the best score. Yeah, but you're my best friend, so that's what you're supposed to do. Okay, I'm gonna give you an eight out of ten. You suck at rating. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> taste. Ooh, taste. Hmm. Okay. Well, I was expecting an IPA. Granted, the can says none bitterness. So I was like, okay, it's not gonna be very bitter. But it's the, the can is true. It's it's not. It didn't lie. It didn't lie. It didn't lie. But I I'm questioning the IPA part. Um, See, I, I also feel that it doesn't really. There's like a real little bit of IPA taste, but it's. It's, yeah. It's, yeah. It's, it's, yeah. So, if you're trying to get into IPAs, this would be absolutely perfect. But if you're a real IPA connoisseur and you want that IPA taste, I don't think this is for you. Nope. This is like a fake IPA. It's, it's undercover. It's undercover. <laughs> there we go. So, like, rating-wise, because I wanted an IPA and I didn't get an IPA, I give it, give it a 7. 7 out of 10. I think I'm going to agree with you on that one. A 7 out of 10. Just because the flavor is good, but it's not what you're expecting. Final category, drinkability. Ooh, drinkability. drinkability. Da -da 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 -da. Well, drinkability. You know, you should have got a whole case of this. We did it all day for Beer Olympics. Literally, this is the only <laughs> can my dad had left and I stole it. And the only... And <laughs> dad, if you're watching this, I stole <laughs> this from the fridge downstairs. Drinkability-wise, though, it is smooth and easy to drink. This might be another category I go off the charts with, you know. Above and beyond. Above and beyond. <laughs> <laughs> it's not quite a 15 million, but it's like a it's like a 10 million out of 10. Bruh. So it's above the charts, way above. I could drink this all day. He drinks IPAs all the time, so he's biased. I'm gonna give you the real score here. Okay, fine, Debbie Downer. What's your real score? So because 
It's an IPA. Generally, that means it's a little on the heavy side and harder to drink. But this one, because it's smooth and lighter, I think I'm gonna have to give it a higher score than a normal IPA. So I'm gonna give the drinkability score a seven out of 10. Dude, you, you have to be honest. That's how reviews work. I'm out. First one done. First one done. <laughs> so my overall thoughts. If you're gonna get into IPAs, this is perfect for you. But if you're looking for an actual IPA as a connoisseur, not for you. In my overall thoughts, the only one that actually matters is because my glass is empty, I'd buy it again. So total scores for me, I gave it a 30 out of 40 which I think is an excellent score for an IPA. And what do you think, Tyler? I gave it a 10 million and 26 out of 40. 10 million and 26 out of 40. The, so far, the highest beer we have ever scored. So that's gonna do it for this episode. Thanks to my buddy Tyler for coming on the show. Anytime, hope to be here again. And in case you forgot, please follow my podcast at Wisconsin Sports Trilogy. A podcast on Anchor Wait. and Spotify. Yeah, we have a Twitter page, Trilogy underscore pod. And Facebook, Wisconsin Trilogy Podcast. So if you're into any Wisconsin sports, go ahead and check them out. They've got weekly podcasts for the Bucks, Brewers, and Packers. Unfiltered fans perspective. So once again, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one. I'll be around. <laughs> <laughs> Joint forces.